everybody, Ryan here coming at you with a review of Manchester by the Sea. I have been wanting to see this movie since it first was really shown, preview-wise. Uh, big fan of basically everybody involved with the film, and of course any films that are set in or around Boston I've always loved. So basically this is going to be a spoiler-free review. You know, this film has been getting a lot of buzz, award buzz. Casey Affleck has been getting a lot of acclaim for his performance. And rightfully so, he is, you know, spectacular in the lead role. Uh, basically, this is about a broken man who returns to a place where he used to live, where he, because of a set of circumstances, he's kind of driven away. And, uh, well, by choice, he leaves. Sorry, I'm wanting to do this review while it's fresh in my mind. And when his brother passes away, he's basically goes back to where he came from and he's you know having to take care of his brother's son and it just brings back a lot of his past and it, he's already a broken man so basically you have a very somber depressing bleak kind of film um, basically because it's realistic based on the feelings of the characters that are going through this loss and plus the fact that Casey Affleck's character has already been broken for something that happened in his past, which you find out halfway through the movie, but this is a spoiler-free review, so um, I'm not gonna talk about spoilers, but the acting uh, is top of the line, top notch. I've always been a fan of Casey Affleck, but he's always kind of played Casey Affleck, if you guys know, know what I'm talking about, the same kind of character. But this film, he's still kind of like that, but he is another notch. He is a real, character a real person you really think he is the uh, the real person like he is so flawless in his performance in my opinion what I liked about this film is that it was a tight screenplay it was a very good um, you know everything about it was really good the cinematography the tight screenplay but here you have a drama that didn't have all those uh, you know how there's some movies that you could tell are Oscar Beatty type movies where they'll have these random outburst of like monologues and dramatic like emoting with characters and stuff like that it doesn't do any of that uh, kind of reminds me of how spotlight was spotlight which was my favorite film of last year was a phenomenal film somebody with a loud trucks coming so I'm about to cut it really quick uh, they turned um, but it didn't have any of those moments that was like screaming for an Oscar that's what I liked about this film the performances were some of the like there's some heart-wrenching moments but they're not they're really realistic they're not like over the top and i really dug that i really like the relationship between casey affleck's character and his nephew and uh just across the line i thought the performances were phenomenal and uh i would actually really like to read the script one day obviously the director well he wrote the film too so in some cases the director directs his films and sometimes isn't always scripted moments but I'd I'd really like to see the script and read the script because it is phenomenal the way the movie just went went by was just phenomenal I loved how it flowed from scene to scene it wasn't really over the top it wasn't crazy in terms of like editing and drama but um yeah I would definitely you know give it an A an A rating I loved it very much what I also liked about it was the music. They used, you know, a score, but they also had some classical music that was intermixed with it. And um, some was like opera type stuff, and then just classical music that reminded me of something you would listen to at a funeral or in a cathedral, even though some of the music probably was really happy music as well, but just because of the way it sounded, it comes across as kind of sad, but it was definitely a great film. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I didn't like about it. Um, there's not, at this point, there's nothing really I can say that I didn't like about it. I'm not like a professional film critic. I just love bragging about movies that I, I love and just gushing about them. So I'm not going to talk about anything negative because I didn't really think there was anything negative in this movie that I didn't like. Um, down the road, if I'm watching it, and I'm like trying to critique it and pick it apart. I'm sure I'll find one or two things, but that's not me and I'm not gonna do that. So if you guys are in the mood for Manchester by the Sea, um, I definitely recommend it. 
it reminded me the same the mood I was in for this movie um, it reminded me of the same tone that Woody Allen's interiors had which is kind of a depressing dark um, not dep not dark but like um, dreary I guess you could say and somber and dark in that kind of way and depressing in that kind of way but not enough to like really make you want to kill yourself <laughs> um, so yeah I definitely think the movie was great I highly recommend it so go check it out so I'll see you guys in the next video bye